Hello, young artists. We're doing art again. I'm wearing the same thing. And I am wearing the same thing, but we have different objects. How about that? Yeah. Okay. So for this activity, we're going to look at a painting by an artist named Wasily Kandinsky. And I'm going to attach that so your parents can bring it up. But as you can see, he's an abstract painter. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to go, what you're going to need is some objects, some anything around the house. I have a block here, looks like this fell off a walker, uh, paper and my, clip. And my little friend. Tape, cuteness, there we go. All right, and you're just going to scatter them around the piece of paper. All right, then what you're going to do is you're going to get your black crayon, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to make lines, hopefully it's, an, it's going to be basically a continuous line, meaning you don't want to take your crayon off of the paper. And you're going to just circle these objects, all right? And you're going to go around without taking the crayon off the paper you are going to circle all of these objects, all right? Once you've done that, you can take the objects off the paper and you'll have something that looks like this, okay? Now is the fun part. In each of the sections that you created, you are going to color. And you can use whatever colors you want. Take your time. Teacher Lily, can we mix the colors or should we just go and fill them in with solid colors? You want to fill them in with solid colors. And I imagine we want to use a lot of different colors. As many colors as you can. Okay, and that depends on your crayon box, but I think you've got a lot of colors in your crayon box. Do you see? how each section has different colors in it. So you're gonna just keep going until your whole piece of paper is filled. And I don't think there's a rush, is there, Teacher Lily? Nah. Now, take your time and see if you can fill each shape with the specific color that you have used. Like, my yellow. Wow. What is your favorite color? Well, I still think it's yellow, but I like blue too. I'm going to put blue at the bottom. Blue kind of reminds me of sky and water. Mm. But the yellow kind of reminds me of the sun. Which I think that's why I like the color yellow. Me too. It reminds me of a nice sunny day. It reminds me of being warm and bananas, and my little friend. <laughs> oh, got to make a decision. What color am I going to put up here? I I think see, I'm still going. You're still going. This is a lot of work, huh? It is a lot of work. It's fun, though. It is fun. It's fun. Okay. If you get out of the lines a little bit, that's okay. Sure. But your goal is to try and stay a little bit inside. Just do your best. That is all that we ask of you. Oh, I just picked this up. I'm not going to be using this, am I? Well, I don't no. think so. No, we don't. We don't need the white. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use brown. What does brown remind you of besides besides chocolate? Pudding. Pudding. Um, the dirt. Plants. Planting. Planting. Peanuts. I'm gonna put yellow up here. Whoa, boy. This is fun. It is fun. We wish you were, we were home with you doing this. But we're really happy that you're here to join us to do this project through this video. Yes. All right. 
It looks like I've got only one more section left, and I think we're oh, going to Oh, you're ahead of me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, I've got some smaller spaces. Look in through here. I didn't fill all these little smaller spaces in. Oh, oh. let's do that next. Hmm, what oh. color should I use? I'm going to use... Is there any color I didn't use? I May know. I have the red? Yes, I'm going to share my red with you. Thank you. I have a light red, but I didn't have a nice dark. Wow, the more I look, I keep finding little sections to color in. I probably wasn't looking carefully. So spend some time to look carefully to see if there are any additional spots. Look, I found all these little spots. Now, if you want to do something a little extra, if you want to go the extra mile, you can find a ruler or, I don't have a ruler here, I have a box of hot chocolate. <laughs> But I'm going to use this. Here, teacher, Mr. Lily. <laughs> Mr. Bob found. There we go. And we both have rulers, but and then you can use anything. You can use anything that's in your house that has a straight line. You're going to use your black crayon, and you can make some lines that go through your shapes. That's something that Wasily Kandinsky did a lot. Uh-oh. Oh. I want to show mine. There we go. Cool. Cool. Thank you. I hope you had fun. Yes. I certainly did. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Yes.